Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss the timing diagram of I/O read and I/O write machine cycle. Before watching this video, I request all of you to please go through the video of upcode fetch machine cycle so that you will you can be you will be able to understand this uh, video lecture properly. So this table shows the condition of I/O slash M bar S zero and S one for different eight zero eight five operations. Here we are concerned with I/O read and I/O write machine cycles. So as I/O operations are performed, so that is why the uh, status of I/O slash M bar will be one, and S one and S zero will be one and zero respectively for read operation and it will be zero and one for write operation. So before proceeding ahead, so let us discuss few important points. In eight zero eight five, the I/O devices generally have eight bit addresses, but in eight zero eight five microprocessor, uh, we have got sixteen address lines. That is from AD zero to AD seven and A eight to A fifteen. So whenever microprocessor is communicating or exchanging data with an I/O device, then at that time the address of the I uh, address of that um, I/O device, which is eight bit, is loaded in both upper address bus that is A eight till A fifteen, as well as in the lower address bus that is from A D zero to A D. Seven. So the content of these two will be same, and that will be your eight-bit address of the I/O device. So during interfacing of a I/O device, we can use any one of the upper or lower address buses according to our convenience. So now let us discuss I/O read machine cycle. So in I/O read machine cycle, the contents of the I/O device. Are read, and uh, this requires three T states, and it is almost similar to memory read machine cycle except the I/O slash M bar. For memory read cycle, I/O slash M bar was zero, and for I/O read machine cycle, it will be equals to one. Rest the condition of other lines will remain exactly the same. So here, the destination of the read operation is accumulator. Okay, so when the I/O device is read, the data that is read is stored in the accumulator, and the program counter is not incremented here, unlike the memory read machine cycle where it was incremented. And uh, as I have already told, the condition of I/O slash M bar is high. Or it is equals to one. Now let us discuss the timing diagram of I/O slash. Now let us discuss the timing diagram of I/O read cycle. So here I have told it requires three T states, and in the first T state, the address of the I/O device is loaded in the Address bus as well as in the address data bus, the content is same. Okay, and here, as in the memory read cycle, the ALE was one, and at that time, your AD zero to AD seven contained the port address or the ad the lower order byte of the address. So same thing happens here also. So when ALE is one, AD zero to AD seven will carry the address, and for rest of the T cycle, when ALE is zero, this AD zero to AD seven will be available to carry the data. Okay, and IO slash M bar is one, and here we are performing read cycle, so that is why S one is equals to one, and S zero is equals to zero. And here the condition of these lines will remain same for all the T states. Now, 
now at the end of the first t state the ale will go low and here the address bits when a by the time ale goes low the address bits in ad0 to ad7 are latched now let us discuss the second and third t states in io read machine cycle so for io read machine cycle for the second t state of io read machine cycle the rd bar should be zero because we are performing the read operation so rd bar is zero for the second t state and it continues to be zero in the third t state okay so when rd bar is zero the data is read and it is loaded in the address bus that is your ad0 to ad7 which acts as a data bus we can say that and in the third till and the data is carried in the data bus until the third t state okay so in the third t state the data from the data bus is transferred to the accumulator and here by the end of the third t state the rd bar is 1 and it indicates that we have reached to the end of the io read machine cycle and the condition of wr bar is equals to 1 because we are not performing the write operation so when we will be performing io write operation then at that time the machine uh, the timing diagram will remain same except this two and this two okay so let us see so in io write machine cycle the contents are written to the io device from the accumulator so here uh, the number of t states required are 3 and it is very much similar to memory write machine cycle except the condition of io slash m bar so here for io write machine cycle io slash m bar is equals to 1 and for memory write machine cycle io slash m bar is equals to 0 and here the content of the accumulator are transferred to the data bus and later on it is written on the output device now let us discuss the timing diagram of io write machine cycle so in the first t state the 8 bit address is loaded in the address bus and the same thing is also loaded to the address data bus that is ad0 to ad7 and um, at the beginning of the first t state ale is 1 at, and it indicates that the address data bus contains the address and later on it becomes 0 okay and then Uh, io slash m bar is one or high. It means that we are performing io operation, and as we are performing write operation here, so that's why s one is equals to zero and s zero is equals to one. And the condition of these three signals will remain same for all the t states. Now let us discuss the second and third t state. so in the second t state the wr bar will go low or it will be equals to 0 and it indicates the initiation of write operation so here the data to be written is loaded on the data bus here at the beginning of the second t state and it exists on the data bus until the third t state and in the third t state the data in the address bus is transferred to the output device and by the end of the third t state the wr bar will go high again and it indicates that we have come to the end of the write operation so with this i have explained the uh, timing diagram of io read and io write machine cycles so here it there is a typo it should be write Uh, so if you have any doubts 
you can ask me in the comment section and for more videos uh, please subscribe my channel thank you for watching my video the link of uh, upcode fetch machine cycle and memory read and memory write machine cycle are provided here and as well as it is mentioned in the description so please visit those videos thank you